Hi everyone, welcome back. Episode 12 of my cargo trader to camper conversion. So in this episode, we're going to cover uh, seat cushions and really my bed because this folds down to be my bed. This folds down to be my bed. And uh, uh, curtains. So I don't know how to sew. So all of this is done without sewing and how I did it. I think it turned out all right. I'll just show you what it looks like. So here's the cushions. Uh, they're four inch foam. It's an Amazon mattress that I took and I just cut up into pieces uh, to fit here. So basically this one just to cover the, the base here and then two about the half of this table so that when this table goes down this forms a complete bed across here. Here's the curtains. Again, they're just no sew, so this is just seam tape used here to to, um, to create the the end so it wouldn't fray, and then just a curtain rod up there. Anyways, we can talk about it a little bit. I'll just discuss what I did. So I think it works pretty good. I tried it out, and uh, I like it. And this is also pretty uh, durable material that I got. It's quite a thick uh, pleather, I guess, like a vinyl. So easy to clean and uh, durable. So let's talk about it. I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so that's it. I cut up that mattress. I got it all cut up. Uh, this is a, just a queen mattress. That's how wide I made it. And then I just cut a little piece off the bottom. I think uh, there's probably a six inch piece off the bottom that's missing on this queen mattress. And I was thinking I'd just put it over there. I'll explain why after. Um, I just cut it with a razor blade. It wasn't too bad, but uh, you can see it's a little bit gnarly here. I think if you use a bread knife, an electric bread knife apparently is great, but I don't have one. I wasn't going to go buy one for this. So now I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to cut some plywood that's going to be uh, two inches smaller on the back all the way around. And then I'm going to wrap it with my vinyl. I just bought this vinyl. It's a marine outdoor vinyl. It was... Um, what do you call it, surplus, like there's uh, some blemishes in it, which I mean, doesn't matter to me, it should be good. And so I'm gonna wrap it with that, staple it to that plywood that I'm gonna put on the back, but I'll show you that procedure, what I do with that. Here's our basic setup I'm going to do. So I've just got my foam. It's a four inch memory foam. Well, memory, I think it's like a, a two inch or an inch of memory and three inches of foam. Anyways, four inches. And then I've got my vinyl. And I cut this board two inches short on this side, a few inches short on this side. So this vinyl just wrap around. And then I'm going to staple it into there. If I want to, later on, I might put a a cover over top of it like maybe some uh, uh, white cloth or something I'm not too sure I think we'll see we'll see how it goes but anyways I just cut it four inches four inches extra plus a couple inches to staple onto the wood so we're gonna do it and as I'm gonna go I'm gonna pull it fairly tight but I don't want to pull it really tight in certain areas otherwise you'll get bunches I found this the last time I did this on my last cushions so I'll just pull it up just enough to make it a uniform angle. I might have to trim that up there a bit. You can see it's sticking out a little bit. And then I'll pull it over, wrap it around, and staple it to the to the wood. So just show you how I'm doing my corners here. So I find you kind of it's kind of a little bit of a juggling act a little bit. But I want to give it a crease up here, just when dealing with this thick material. It's not like covering it with some thin material. So I'm going to try and find the spot up here where it takes up the most material. And that's going to give me my bend here. I'm going to staple that. And then what I'll do is I'll tuck this in. Tuck it in. Pull it tight. Come up here. And staple up there. So I'll have one crease on the bottom here to this point. 
and then one crease on the top of the cushion to there and then I'll do the sides but that's that's what I do first in the corners do both all my corners then do my sides Okay, let's get started on the curtains so I'm using a no sewing method for my curtains what I did is I took uh, these are curtain rods that I bought for doors actually so they've got kind of a lower profile a thinner profile it's a little bit of a thicker rod I thought it'd be a little bit stronger and uh, they just go across doors to hold I guess if you got a curtain on your door so this uh, this little bracket came with the kit and then I just made this little block of wood just to hold it away from the wall away from the window a little bit mounted those up there this is gonna fit in there just in between I've got my curtain material cut here just to the rough size now I'm gonna cut it uh, precisely what I want and then we'll use this uh, seam tape or hem tape I think they call it but we'll talk about that in a bit so let me cut this fabric to what I need and then we'll we'll discuss what what I'm gonna do here so what I'm using is uh, this seam tape just uh, it's called heat bond uh, you basically just iron it on and it glues the fabric together so we'll see how it goes apparently it works pretty good this is the the strongest one I could buy for the heaviest fabric I've got my curtains here cut my two sides of my curtain they're already cut ready to go I cut them uh, three quarter inch bigger on either side plus three quarter for the bottom and then two inches extra for the top so for the loop up top that's going to get wrapped around to pull it back and forth it fits through the curtain rod that's two inches three quarter three quarter three quarter so I'm going to get started now I just take a block of wood and I mark three quarter inches from the end put a mark here put a mark there along the top and then I'll use just this piece of wood as a straight edge and uh, mark along the top just a few like you can see here just some dashes here and then what I'll do is I iron that like this so I'll use those marks to line up for ironing so then I'll iron it like that and now I'll have a crease there like that and then in this crease I just slide the seam tape you just slide it in and then iron it with the seam tape in there and I found because of this th this fabric is quite a bit thicker maybe than what they normally talk about I'm not sure but I had to put it on the wool setting a little bit thicker uh, a little more heat to the iron and then it said five seconds but I found it's more closer to like eight to ten seconds that I hold it on so you do that once you've got the seam tape in in the seam there you iron it flat you know like 10 seconds on this side and then you flip it over and do 10 seconds on this side and once you have that you have a, a really tight uh, a tight seam here and it, it ties up all these little threads and stuff too it melts glue almost in here so, so far I think it's working out pretty good and then for the top where the loop is going I measure two and a quarter so I'm coming down two and a quarter marking it same thing ironing the crease so it's a bigger crease more like that but I do the two and a quarter because then it'll still have enough in the bottom for the seam tape so the seam tape will be there and then you've got enough for a little pocket up top to to get it so that it's nice and uh, a nice finished edge up top I start at the bottom I do the bottom seam tape and then I do the sides and then you'll have the top will be the sides will be seam taped like that like that and then once you flip it over and you iron it you've got a nice finished pocket there in the top so that's what I've been doing and it seems to be working pretty good I've got one curtain done and now I'm just working on the other one